Good morning, my brothers and sisters. It's another glorious day on earth. <sighs> the apartment is still in shambles because as you saw last night, we did not finish the computer build. It looks like somebody's awesome Christmas. Well, not somebody's awesome Christmas. My awesome Christmas. It looks like my awesome Christmas in here. Which is kind of rad because I haven't done Christmas in like fucking 20 some years. But I spoiled the shit out of myself, obviously. I'm gonna have to chill on large purchases for a while. Uh, but yeah, Twitch is up and popping, but we're not streaming yet. We got computer parts everywhere in this bitch. And today, a mission. First, we're gonna go play some basketball. Hopefully, uh, Ern tried to join a gym that was like a league. He thought I wanted to join like a basketball league and play with a bunch of other men and like join like the fucking Denver Hawks. I don't really know what the hell he fucking was thinking, but uh, no, I don't wanna join a league. I just wanna go play basketball like kind of privately. One more stuff. Hey! Not for you, dude. Stop. Yeah, so right now waiting on Get Right now waiting on Earn. And then uh, we'll get this day started. And then hopefully this computer gets finished tonight. And then I can get my apartment looking like a person actually lives here, cause right now it just looks fucking crazy. I know there's a lot of boxes in here, and you just wanna tear them all to pieces. I know that's your favorite thing. These boxes still have stuff in them. So we have to wait. And then I'll let you tear them up, okay? But right now, right now, you gotta chill. All right. Yeah, you, you gotta chill out. You're too crazy. Go get your bulldog. That's not a box you can tear up, bud. Day one, my floor is dirty. You got jelly belly. Omar, Omar. Put these dogs to off that attitude, boy. What about the jelly beans? Oh, you got them in your lobby. Oh, yeah, they're complimentary. I know. And water and coffee. They put them away at night. They said yeah, at night that they people do. take coffee cups. Yeah, yeah, at night people steal them all. Let's yeah. look at this Denver Athletic Club. Oh, dude, this is your kind of spot. Ah. It's all bougie yeah, and shit. Yeah, there we go. See the basketball cards looking like. See if three young strapping dudes can come through and hoop. Yeah, I'll shoot it once. Not for you. Stop. Dude, if there's three strangers there, that's the only way I'll play. We'll take them on. Fuck it, like this dude. Dude, one time we were standing in a room with two or three very large men from Washington, <laughs> D.C., who I barely even knew. Like, I mean, I know them, but I only knew one of them. I didn't know the other ones, you know what I mean? Yeah. And when they come to our hotel room to bring us weed, and fucking this dude, I really start talking about tattoos because I had tattooed one of them one time, and uh, this dude rips his shirt off. Like, just goes, oh, I'm just stands so there with his shirt off, and then, like, everybody just kind of, like, looks at him and be like, put your fucking shirt back on, what are you doing? And he leaves, and I was like, dog, we're in D.C. I was like, you can't just go around fucking, like, ripping your shirt off for dudes and thinking that, like, everyone's just going to be like, oh, cool. So we fell, right? All right, off to the basketball gym. Denver, why We called one gym that is very exclusive, but yes. seems like the move, so I might actually be joining this gym now. Yep. But right now we're going to the Y. Yep. Sorry, YMCA. This seatbelt brought to you by Gatorade. This seatbelt is brought to you by Electrolytes. I like how upgrade you still sit behind me. Well, even though because there's always shit on this side. Oh, that's weird. It's like almost like stuff doesn't move. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but so you're just like an invisible voice in the back of the vlog. Great is our ghost. You ever seen how high? He's like, <laughs> never watched it with the commentary on. No, no. That sounds amazing. Yeah, do yourself a favor. What did they re-release like another version with full commentary? Uh, they didn't re-release it. It's on this thing that is known as a DVD. Oh. And then they have all these extras sometimes. I know. I don't know how it works. Basketball court about to drain these threes. Call me Jesus Shuttlesworth because I'm tweaking in my camps. <laughs> he the actual video shoot. <laughs> tweaking in my camps. Yeah, we'll just use the same footage. <laughs> Yo, I was tweaking. Yeah, it was like last weekend. It's parking here, right? No. Why not? This is drive up ATM. And parking. Oh, and parking. Why the fuck do you think the word parking is on the fucking thing? Uh, <laughs> what is wrong with you? Drive up ATM, ATM parking. parking. Yeah. It's just <laughs> yeah, only ATMs can park here. No, I <laughs> YMCA is a cock blocker. Yeah. The fucking other place I gotta sign up for a membership. So we're hitting these motherfucking streets. 
We're taking it into the black top. And one basketball, motherfucker. <sighs> Mixtape. I'm gonna do a nine point turn here. About to do a nine point turn. Ernie is scared as fuck. There's pressure. There's a car behind him. And if there's a car behind Ernie, it might as well be a motherfucking bomb. Play outdoors today, and then we're gonna join the Denver Athletic Club where we can have martinis after our best. Yeah. Okay. Hello, sir. We brought you an after game martini. <laughs> <laughs> nice three point shot, sir. Would you like me to dab the sweat off your brow? It's <laughs> gonna be like there. So, why? Now, the basketball, we're at a park. Lost. Okay. We are, hold on, I can tell you on my, so, um, <laughs> Journey continues to find a basketball court. Wait to get there and there'll just be like fucking 12 kids playing basketball. The school ball, who <laughs> take their ball? Where's this guy going? What the fuck? First shot. Here it is. You already know you're gonna be commenting about it. Just know that we expect it. It's done. There's <laughs> <laughs> a swish. Yeah. <laughs> swish. It's not gonna be an easy journey, dog. I got it. This is the court. Green hook. <laughs> I thought you were trying to get me like a dramatic lacing up. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I'm playing for it. Oh, it's in. Oh, creep jump. Here comes the creep jump. <laughs> We are back at Micro Center to replace or exchange a part. Start this car. Oh, it actually has a key? They don't let us film in there. Oh, I gotta have my foot on the fucking brake. Sager just had his kid. Oh, oh that's shit. fucking awesome, dude. Yeah, it's right nice. Hey. Sager baby, you can't see it. Baby, Sager, Sager. baby. Oh, all right, so they went into the this we forgot to get well We didn't forget so while we were at the micro center. We discovered our technician is sick. So Then me and Ern started talking. And we're like, hey, maybe we could just build the rest of this shit ourselves People on Twitter seem to think I can build it myself So they're in this random tool store looking for these tiny tools that we're gonna need which they probably don't have Which they definitely had at micro center. Um, there's also a possibility. I'm tweeting right now Hopefully having someone come and do this tonight. I want to get it finished. I'm crazy impatient I know people are probably think I'm fucking nuts, but I just want this shit to work so I'm gonna figure it out you know, Ern wants me to just to sit and wait, and I don't want to sit and wait. So we're gonna see what the outcome is. Sometimes hasty decisions are not good, but you know, I'm capable, right? So I'm either capable or I'm gonna find someone capable, but I'm gonna make this shit happen today. See if we get these tools first. Found someone to come and build a computer. Thank God. Place the computer part with the correct part. Yeah, all right. Hey! Ah. Oh. Off. Off. Boy, get off the goddamn couch. Thank you. He fucking loves boxes. Shoo! Does that feel any different? People are saying these are wool. Listen. 
I saw that. Listen, I saw that too. I'm listening. That Adidas was knows that like people love the fucking wool things, and it was just like friendly reminder, guys. These are wool. Yeah. Like I feel like they're no. Just like a little bit to it. Like you can feel it a little bit, maybe. Yeah, this one for sure. Different than the ones than the than the ones Tom has. I don't know, man. Only if we had another Ultra Boost to compare them to. I don't know. Yeah, it's slight. I mean, you can see the hairs like on the toe. Oh, yeah. We'll do these tomorrow. All right. Utility black. Another black shoe. How you doing? Oh, okay. So, today's been eventful. I've been running around trying to get this computer situation under wraps. If you didn't realize or notice or see, I got partnership with Twitch yesterday. It's super sick. I'm super excited about it, and I'm really just like focused on getting this computer built. Uh, I have some other stuff that I need to do, so hopefully tonight all gets finished, and we're live streaming by this evening, and I can get back to my like regularly scheduled program. Uh, but today we went and played basketball, got to try out basketball shoes. Um, looking for a basketball gym because the court we played on was awful. I know I wasn't supposed to play outside with that ball, but necessity is necessity so i did anyway as far as shoes go we have two pairs of shoes that we uh are gonna look at today one we looked at briefly the other one we haven't really looked at at all uh the first one is the adidas day one crazy explosives these are probably my most favorite basketball shoe i've put on in like 10 years i mean i haven't the last basketball shoe i put on was probably a jordan these are super comfortable so this is what the shoe looks like Whoa, I haven't dropped a shoe in a while. This is what the shoe looks like. Super clean. Um, so yeah, this is the crazy explosive low, I, I guess is what it's called. Oh, it's an all black upper, sort of suede avalanche that comes across the front of the shoe, across the entire whole toe box, basically, exposing the knit and the rest of the upper. And this is all PK that runs throughout the shoe, but it's reinforced PK. You're definitely not getting like Ultra Boost PK or NMD PK, but again, nor do you want to, it's basketball. Shoe's pretty supportive. I mean, I can only give you like, a performance review based on what I did, which was like pretty light work. I like ran around and played horse basically. So I mean, I, I don't have like a, a real like, yeah, this is get the, the best shoe you could possibly play a game of basketball with ever. I don't, I don't really know. You know I'm just talking about what it, how it feels on my feet when I'm playing. So but yeah, but these are comfortable. I mean, I wore them all day just walking around. My feet didn't hurt. They're actually really comfortable. The boost is boosting. Really nice pad of boost on this side. And then the, on the outside of the shoe, the sole is, you got these little boost windows which I really like. Nice little touch, I believe. Then you have suede hits all over, suede back heel tab, suede on the tongue, and then, you know, your white three stripes, heavy contrast. The skeleton lacing system, it's on the outside. And then you have this crazy sole, which I believe I remember reading was um, like movement of the foot. I, I really should probably refresh my memory back. I almost am sure this was like mapped out digitally from foot movements possibly even a james harden i really don't know i might even be making all that shit up um black rope laces that come with it the day one insole and then yeah just like super reinforced very very comfortable i had someone online say they had a bunch of heel slippage in the shoe i didn't notice it i went true to size true to size is basically perfect super comfortable um it is a basketball shoe so definitely expect it to be a little bit stiffer than say like your ultra boost pk but again it's functional favorite basketball shoe that i've had maybe ever so and granted i'm new to the basketball shoe thing because it's been like a good 10 15 years so but these will probably be the ones i play in the most super nice to wear super clean on foot that's the crazy explosive low day ones baby now this shoe as you saw me trying to put it on i know a bunch of people were trying to say it's not that hard to put on it is that hard to put on i cannot put it on without a shoehorn a couple of people sent me videos of them putting on the white pairs and it was a little bit easier for them they look like they had like size nine so i don't know if when you have a smaller foot what the situation is with a shoe but this motherfucker is hard to put on i don't care who you are or where you're from it's hard to put on this is what a shoe looks like though and this is obviously a high top version and we talked about this the other day and essentially this is a lot different i mean the other one has like paneling and like different panels and stuff but this pk here is super enforced it's very rigid it's been cured on the outside it's it's nice and like sturdy this part right here honestly feels a lot like the laceless ultra boost and then your pk all throughout is just you know very reinforced kind of the same steez though on the sole you have the exposed boost and then you have the boost windows they've changed the pattern a little bit in the sole and then the three stripes are gold on the side 
gold lace lits and then dark black laces and then of course the rainbow colored pk that goes all throughout and then again the bottoms which have the queen suit uh, and then this shoe is nuts so as far as putting it on goes really hard obviously i still think true to size is what you need but man fucking man when you put these on they are so tight like this bat once you slide your foot in here this whole area it's just like grabbing onto your foot it's like an nmd on steroids it just like but it's like dude, it is grabbing you like it does not want to let you go it's on some titanic shit this shit is not playing like, seriously it feels as if the shoes are surgically implanted onto your feet there is more padding in this back area of this than any i mean i feel like you could jump out of a plane and land on it there's so much padding in here it's insane and this is just like not that stretchy so once this once you slide your big foot in here and it shrinks back up onto you it's it is supportive so i think and that's probably the point functionally basketball pivoting you don't want to roll your ankle i get it so definitely um for basketball players i'm sure they swear by these love them they're not as comfortable to me as the lows i'm gonna be honest uh maybe for a different kind of functionality like a serious game or you're really sliding around this would be a lot better just because of how stiff it is but oh man is it stiff and i'm not used to that so, um yeah i really like this shoe i really want to try and break them in so that i can just slide them on hopefully because i do really like them i do want to play in them because i do plan on playing basketball you know quite a bit here in the mornings yeah but that's what the shoe looks like again true size for me i haven't seen anyone say anything about sizing down on these at all but yeah, good luck if you do, because I don't know how the fuck you're getting your foot in there. So that's the crazy explosive Las Vegas, and that's the crazy explosive day one. And now, we wait for the computer man.